All right, hey, so a little while ago, I went and tried to get into AI War 2. I've looked around on the internet, tried to find some good Let's Plays. There aren't any. When I say Let's Play, I mean people actually playing the game at an actually challenging difficulty, you know, not spending two hours somehow explaining the basics. So since those videos don't exist, I'm just going to create one. So I'm going to go and just custom start. Let's go. Enter a name. That's good enough. ASDF lol. Uh, I'm just going to leave that world generation as it is. This is going to be very simple. I'm just going to go with uh, difficulty 888 AI because that <laughs> is the difficulty level that I'm capable of handling. We are going to... And then for performance, I'm going to turn off course background processing because a, my computer can handle it, and B, it causes some kind of weird stuff to happen sometimes. So if you can turn it off, I'd recommend turning it off. It can have some balance implications if you do or do not do that. So um, you just pick your fleet. The fleet is going to determine what text you pick right at the beginning of the game. Uh, bomber fleet right now is the best. These extra three are from a mod I'm using. They're balanced, don't worry about it. Uh, class defenses, uh, all, all the defense options here are terrible, so I just picked the shield defense because at least it can be sometimes useful sometimes. Um, and these I max these out because generally if they're breaking up my cryopods and home settlements, they're going to win in a moment anyway. So uh, yeah, and then we're just going to hit the go. So your first step when you begin is you look around for any extra fleets. In this case, we got one here. Uh, so we're going to want to go in that direction. Pretty simple. In terms of your starting text, you just want to pick whatever text benefit your starting fleet the most. So for me, my starting fleet, it uses, um, uses ambush, technologist, and technologist. So I'm going to slap a couple into technologist. And when I say a couple, I mean three. I'm gonna slap one into ambush. Um, and I'm going to take one in engineering because that's just super strong. And then I'm going to hit my command station and level that up. Because leveling up your command station is pretty cheap. Uh, your, your home command station specifically. It's pretty cheap. It only costs a thousand research and it buffs up all these cryopods and stuff. Um, it's going to hit that into pursuit mode because I like pursuit mode. Uh, okay, that just appeared. MLRS, Corvette, and Vanguard. So, actually, I'm going to hit another one into Splash, because I like Splash. My The techs I like to use are Splash, Technologist, and Concussion. And if the game is going to favor me by giving me a Splash ship here, and a Splash ship here, and then another Concussion ship here, uh, I'm just going to take advantage of that, you know? So, we, get, we got our fleet. It's fully built. I'm just going to load this up. Get that goofy boy into there. We're gonna speed this along a little. Oh, I did not mean <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Okay, there. So nor normally, what you do when you start invading a new planet is you just target down the command posts. Sometimes you don't. Usually you do. So I'm just gonna let that do its thing while I come over here. And what the hell do you think you're doing? Just gonna hit up with some pike turrets. I'm not going to use the turrets from my starter Sigma Jig, my battle station yet. I'm gonna save those for some time where I actually need them. Your home defense is really good. You don't need that. Okay, get a tractor array um, watchman frigate. That's good enough for now. Can we come over here and check on the ships? I don't seem to need my input yet. Actually, we're going to send these guys through too. I don't know if I have enough techs for these engineers to have cloak yet. No, I don't. I need another tech on engineering. Okay, we'll get that later. Gonna speed my way into capturing this. So 
So I'm putting all my defenses over here because I'm going to capture this next because I want this fleet too. Cap it for attack on array, okay. Just going to put a tractor array there just in case some of the AIs try and do anything goofy. Because they will try and do goofy things, you'll find them doing that. So I've got my new fleet. What's this new fleet got? He's got. Vanguards and MLRS Corvettes. That's not very strong, but it synergizes with my techs, so that's decent. So we're just gonna send these guys into that city, base, thingamajig, you know, whatever that's called. So we got some threat kind of starting. Um, when they spawn a wave against Murdoch, that threat is gonna join the fight, and this could get a bit hairy, so I gotta watch out for that. Uh, when you run at high speeds, you gotta... You, you gotta make sure that you don't get tunnel vision, right? <clears throat> you, you gotta be always paying attention to threat that's around you. So the Warden Fleet is here. Early in the game, the Warden Fleet isn't a very big threat. You can just beat it down. Uh, the problem is when you don't engage it for a while and it has time to build up strength. So you want to always keep on top of keeping the Warden Fleet down. So when I've got the combat factory back here, it's going to help rebuild my fleet and it's got a ton of engineers so they're going to help rebuild really fast. So even if you, you're unable to bring your combat factory directly into the fight, it's still good to keep it nearby. Okay, uh, I'm going to capture this. I'm going to bring the combat factory in here. And actually, I'm going to rebind this to number four, because that's what I like to have my combat factory on. And you can be on number two. I have no idea what the AI is saying, honestly. Okay, so now that we've got, uh, we got three planets. We just got to get our, to make sure that they've got defenses on all of them. So, if when the AI spawns stuff against... Okay, wh which one of these am I going to cap next? I'm going to get this one, I think. It's a spider turret, it's going to be launcher turrets. Yeah, yeah, I want this. So this is my next capture, so that means I don't have to put any defenses here. So I'm just going to pop stuff up there. Sentry, frigate, make these... Hello? Hello, game. Okay, thank you. <laughs> when I click, I want it to click. Mine theme. It's check and threat. Put that there, put that there. RV generators, you know, standard. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, what do we got here? Mark four, shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um. Take another level in engineering, and once I get the science for it, I'm going to take another level in splash. You need to attack, thanks. So when we attack this place, we want to come in, blow up something that's important, and then immediately run away. Because we don't want to trigger a counterattack. And this place is not <laughs> low tech enough for me to just win a single, uh, like just attack, move my ships in and win. Uh, so we're going to give an attack order on that. That was not an attack order, that was a move order. Okay, we got the iron cannon down, now we're just going to run away. Oh, okay. We're gonna kill that for two, because apparently he doesn't want us to run away. Now we'll run away. Oh, 
Once again, just looking around, making sure there's no threat building up. And oh, oh my god, what have we got here? Gonna load those up, send them over. Beat the bad guys. It's very important to be on top of this threat. Threat is the most threatening thing in this game. And they'll, you'll also notice that they do this stupid thing where they fucking run away. It's so annoying. It can be helpful to put um, force fields in their way. So like if they always go from your home base, like they attack your home base and then they run and they go through here, you can put a force field here so they can't escape. And that forces them to let you kill them. So, uh, we're not going to do that though. Just because I don't want to. I'm too lazy. So we're going to bring a fleet in here to chase these guys off. Because all my defenses are here. Because we still want to take this planet. It's very important. Come on, let's go. Let's go. So we're going to go in. We're going to immediately blow this up. That's gone, we're gonna load up. And then we're gonna immediately go to Murdoch. Great. Okay, you guys need to kill that, and then you need to go over there. There we go. So you'll notice this this wave is only six strength and it's not very strong. Uh, that's because the threat that we were stirring up from all these other planets is a Mark IV planet, right? This is a Mark III planet. The stuff we've been stirring up over here is higher mark than the wave. Another instance of threat being more dangerous than the actual organized attacks. So it's showing there is still two threat in here, even though you can't see anything. It's because there's a bunch of stealth units right here. It's kind of annoying. For some godforsaken reason, you cannot build uh, a sentry frigate in your home base, so... Whatever. So, I'm going to let this fleet, fleet number three, it's not very strong, so it doesn't, it's not going to contribute too much to my offensive against this planet, so I'm just going to leave it there. And we're going to bring these guys over here, set them to pursuit, because somehow they got off of it. Bring them in here, kill this grenade launcher guardian. Okay, hello. Attack. Thank you. Kill this paralysis guardian. I'm gonna kill this. Not para- oh, no, that is a paralysis guardian. I'm just gonna focus down each of the guardians and then get this command post. Another threat check. No big threat. Alright, we can keep going. Okay, and then we're gonna leave. See, like, I just stirred up 17 threat doing that. So, I'm gonna have to deal with that somehow. Doesn't look like there's much threat here, but it's because they're all stacked really hard. Like, here there's 10 ships in this stack. 10, 10, you know. Now they're moving to this planet because they want to attack there. Because my fleets are all over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to attack. And then I'm going to... What the fuck? Oh, they want my home world. No, what did we have? <laughs> what a surprise. They're running. Three, one... Okay, turn them all off pursuit mode so they go where I tell them, and then I'm gonna make sure that they all stand on top of this warp gate. One, two, three, go through. Through pursuit mode.
So by this point, this planet is pretty badly weakened, so I'm just going to let them do their thing. I'm not worried too much about a counterattack. What I am worried about is threat backdooring me. So I'm just going to sit here and wait on the world map and see what happens. Yeah, so you can see here, that's trying to backdoor me again. Like literally the moment I start a, an, uh, an attack, they're going to get all up in my shit. And then plus we're going to get a 15 strength wave against this planet. So I'm just going to keep everybody here for a bit. Oh yeah, now that I got my tech, I'm gonna get my splash upgrade. Did I get an ambush upgrade to go with my... Yes, I did, okay. I'm also gonna get one rank in concussion. The reason I'm avoiding the hull techs is because they're super fucking expensive, especially early in the game. Like, you, you look at this and you see, oh man, 22 strength from only 10,000, that's pretty good. But if you look at a technologist, that's less than that, and I get 15. Look at this, this is, <laughs> this is only 5,000 and I get twice as much, right? So you wait, you wait on hull techs. And also you do your fleet comp based on weapon techs, not hull techs. Hull techs are just kind of a thing. Checking everything. It's helpful to double check sometimes. Especially if you're me. Just using my hotkeys there, checking through all my fleets, making sure they're all on pursuit. Whoa, holy crap. What did you just do? I wanted those. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Uh, Warden Fleet just showed up. And I don't want to trigger a counterattack, so we're just going to leave again. Okay, actually, we can't leave because that's there. There. Much better. There's no, like, shame or whatever in just fucking running away. Because the engineers will repair your fleet. And when your fleet's at full strength, it's got a better chance of killing the enemies. Two, three. So you can see we haven't had any threat attacks yet. Or not yet, but in, in a, a bit of time. That's because I cleared out... Most of the threat I was generating was coming from this, this planet and from the other planet that I just captured, right? So what happened was I captured this planet, the threat ran away. I captured this planet, and the threat ran away. And then I started attacking this planet and then generated threat, which then ran over here. And then I had a whole bunch of threat coming all over. But that's kind of not happening anymore because, you know, I dealt with the threat that was generated, so. And like right here, you can see these, uh, I got an overwhelming force on here. So the ships just ran away and that is going to generate a bunch of threat that's hanging out over here. So you can see now there's counterattack um, getting brewed up over here. That's what I was trying to prevent with all my constant retreating. But by this point, I have enough forces here. I can just destroy all the guard posts and then that will stop the counterattack. Yeah, so I can just leave my ships there, let them fight. The threat's going to show up somewhere. I just have to pay attention all right so the entire reason I'm taking this planet is because I want this GCA and a military command post sounds like a good idea for this system, but for some mysterious reason, it has fewer force fields than a logistical command post. And since I've got a lot of fleets right now compared to my empire size, I'm just going to 
uh, go with the logistics command post and make use of the shields and use my fleets to defend. So I'm going to bring my support factory in here because those engineers provide a lot of really good build speed right at the start. As you can see, get that up right away. Um, spider turrets have infinite range, so I'm just going to put those at the back. Pike turrets are, you know, they're pike turrets. They just do it. Grenade launchers. Uh, gravity generator. Here's my force fields that I want to protect my GCA with. Uh, paralysis force field, uh, mine field. Just put that there. Tachyon array can go there. Tractor array can go here. Sentry frigate, three watchmans. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, so now that I took this, this planet, that means that I've got a metric ass ton of defense that I can put. So now that I've got all these defenses, um, I can defend my home world less. I can defend my not home worlds less. You know, it frees you up to be even more aggressive. That's why you want to take one of those things right away. Me? There we go. Do I want either of these? This GCA has uh, okay. That's a pretty decent GCA, but I don't really want. It doesn't synergize with my text right now, so I'm not going to take that. Chill out, and we're gonna plan out what we're gonna do next now that the early frenzy of capturing stuff is done. Now we gotta increase our fleet strength. Um, three brawlers in there, could go for that. We've got vanguards and rail, ooh, rail pods. I like rail pods. Wait, do they have cloak? No, they don't. But I still really like rail pods. Uh, we'll probably pick up the rail pods from there. Rangers and Velociraptors. No, I think I'm gonna go for ambush. I'm gonna put another point into ambush. We're gonna get those ranger or er, those Velociraptors and those rail pods. I guess we'll pick up these brawlers from here just for the sake of it. First, this place is annoying me. How much mass? Oh, it's only, okay, 360 mass, I don't need that. 300, I'm looking for a good metal planet to capture because I just need some more. 480, 360, okay, how about this one? 240, that's terrible, 360. Don't want that fleet because that, that's fusion. Fusion doesn't synergize with my stuff. Pipe Corvettes don't synergize. That's a pretty interesting fleet, though. Um, now, that is a good GCA on a planet with no metal income. What do kites use? Concussion. Could probably pick up that kite. Really, I, I just need to get some, some research. Oh, yeah, uh, AIP. You'll notice I specifically took the right amount of planets to not get me over the come on game the um i think it's 80 it's 90 yeah so i'm not going to capture another planet until i get um this destroyed so yeah we can just let these guys do their thing how how do you spawn a wave while i'm attacking the, <laughs> the place that the wave comes from okay Oh my god, spider turrets, dude. Yeah, so these guys are just gonna get eaten up. 
as long as you keep the AI on like Mark 1 or Mark 2, their waves are just pathetic. So the entire reason I'm here is to double the ship line cap. I don't want to do it on that fleet. Which fleet do I want to do this on? Let's do it on you. Double ship line cap. Okay, so you want to get the guy that you want to use it on closer. And then I'll go for him. So I'm going to go for my Stingray Hydras. Because as much as I want to be a parasite whore and get just tons of parasites, um, more is kind of unnecessary. I'm already parasitizing pretty much everything. Got a lot of a lot of threat hanging around over there. Man, the vanguards actually got into stuff. Good job, guys. <laughs> they actually do their job so rarely that I'm genuinely impressed when they do. All these poor boys. All oh, these poor boys. <laughs> you spawned another wave already? What tech does spider turrets even use? Is that disruptive? Is that subterfuge? Might want to take one tech into spider turrets just for spider turrets because those are so good. Okay, so now I got the tech increase on my fleet from there. You can see I'm already up to 25 fleet threat and we're only an hour into the game. Okay, okay, maybe that's not very good. That's fine though. That's a lot of strength. <laughs> Once everything goes through, I'm going to wait a few seconds for the counter attack counter to reset and then we'll just come back in. Probably got a metric ass ton of threat accumulating in this 149 threat world. <sighs> okay. Oh. <laughs> They've had an ion cannon here and I didn't even notice. Let's kill that before it kills me. If you think you can take the world in one round, or one one attack and not worry about the counter attack just just go for it you know but if you don't then make sure you retreat and come back in the real awkward situation is when you think you can take a world and you've committed to, into the attack but then the warden fleet comes in and messes you up and now you have a counter attack on your hands that you can't stop but if you do what i do where you keep the warden fleet um under control i guess you know it's not going to be a big issue okay what am i taking out of here Sniper, it's a good sniper and brawler are both good. Okay, what do we got? Parasite time for okay, what number two could use some snipers. Let's go for some snipers. Let's 
So the reason I'm giving this one snipers and not taking brawlers is because they've got uh, number number two has got uh, barnacles close range stuff. They've got inhibiting Tesla close range terrier. They will go around and slow stuff down so it can't get close. And brawlers, which are more close range. So all, all this stuff just synergizes really well with protecting the snipers. Got Subterfuge in that tech vault, which isn't something that I need. Uh, we got Technologist over here. So if I get my Technologist up to level 4, then we can hack this and get level 5 Technologist, which you normally can't get, and that's really good. Um, got a turret IGC over here. We got... Siege Frigates. Could go for that. Regardless, though. We need to get this ARS, because we have to increase our fleet strength as fast as we can. Now you're probably thinking, if I want this ARS, why am I going over here? It's because I want to clear out this threat. Oh, and they're running, it's running away into Axe Blade. Tornado threat is not very much, but I still want to clear it out because I don't want the AI backdooring me while I'm attacking that IRS. I let a bunch of threat escape uh, during one of my previous fights. I can't remember which one. So, you know, it's like doing housekeeping. You make a mess, you clean up your mess. Take my next uh, tech and ambush. Look at that. Only four. Why am I taking a tech and ambush? What the hell's wrong with me? Whatever. <laughs> Gonna do that anyway. I guess vanguards aren't very strong. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted the Velociraptors, and that needed ambush. And I wanted the rail pods, and that also needed ambush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm taking ambush. This is only Mark One World. I'm not afraid of it. You know, just attack, move in, kill everything. Keep an eye out for threat. Make sure nothing's killing my stuff in the background. spawning wave against cursing uh, fuck <laughs> I wasn't paying attention okay hopefully we can kill us before it gets my GCA that would be really awkward if I lose the GCA immediately So here you can see the sentry frigate doing its work. Let us just completely destroy that wave. And it all escaped to there, so I'm going to chase it.
Warden, please join up over here. That's all right. Instigator base. All right, so once you get pretty early in, or no, sorry, well, once you get around the one hour, 15 minute, minute mark, and we're going to spawn an instigator base. Uh, the type of instigator base depends on, no, d determines how high of a priority it is. So right now, my AIP is too low, right? Wormhole invasions unlock at 220, so I don't really care about it because it does wormhole invasions. But if it were to do something like AIP increase, then I would need to go over there and kill that immediately. So I'm going to capture this first before I go deal with that. Because that world has some stuff on it that I want to capture anyway. So. Okay, what are we getting from this one? We're getting the rail pods. Uh, two, three. Get it on ship three, I think. Yeah, ship three could benefit from rail pods. Going to hack. Ship line, rail pod. I'm going to load this boy up. I'm going to bring him over there. that boy let him do what he does oh yeah so every time you finish a, a hack yeah it's gonna launch a counter attack so gotta keep your eyes open for that I'm just going to do the standard uh, jump in there, kill a thingamajig, and then run away. So what I've done is I've brought my combat factory over here. Okay, my combat factory is getting fucked. <laughs> All that. What do you think you're doing? Get engine stunned. Get killed. Okay, as I was saying, I'm bringing the combat factory over here because the combat factory will reinforce my fleet that's fighting over there. Like, it'll build ships for them. So you can see it's building ships right now. So that way it keeps my strength up during the attack. Okay, so just because number one is my strongest fleet right now. Generally, your starter fleet is going to be your strongest fleet for quite a while. So I'm just going to... Let my other two fleets attack while my number one fleet defends here. Dude, I, I love spider turrets, you know. These are so good. If I had the tech, I'd get one in um, and disrupt sub subterfuge just for these. One sec. Alright, there we go. My music playlist ended and I had to get a new one. So, uh, something weird going on with the AI auto priority here, right? Is that the instigator is a really high threat. It, it does a ton of damage, but they're not attacking it. And I don't know why. So we're just going to kill that.
Okay, we're gonna get really close to triggering our counterattack right now, so I'm going to leave before it does. Got a bunch of zombies reinforcing from, I don't know, maybe over here. That attack I defended, zombies came over here and they're gonna help. Just gonna hang these guys around, wait for them to rebuild everything. Just that volume, that's fine. Oh my. We have parasites. Now that we've cleared out the instigator and pretty much everything else, really, we're just going to cl finish cleaning up the warranted fleet. Whenever you can, you want to clean up the warden fleet. I cannot, I cannot emphasize that enough. And then we're going to blow up this distribution node. Because the distribution node is so good. It's just so good. You want it so badly. Now that we've finished up everything in there, we've got either two choices. We can move over here and capture this fleet, but it doesn't have very much good stuff. So I don't want that. Uh, we could go over here and try and capture this Cenus Matter Converter, but I have not been starved for metal. I've been on the offensive this entire time, so I'm not going to go for that. But it does have Stingrays and Vanguard Hydras, which are pretty good. The issue here is that, although it's got some pretty good stuff, it's even got a Vicious Raider, you know, like this is a great uh, ARS to pick up, but it's a Mark V planet, so <laughs> that would be basically suicide. We could zoop through, get this ARS, but it doesn't have anything good in it. What I do want to do, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load up my number one fleet, I'm going to send it over there. I'm going to load up my number two and three fleets, I'm going to send them over here. I don't know why it's sending them. What are you doing, game? What are you doing? AI reserves are reinforcing worm earth. That's okay. We're fine with that. I'm just going to blow this up and then run away. Alright, so we got that AI data center. It just brought us down to 50 whatever, 51 AFP. That's really nice. So we're just going to run away again. And then, so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm doing two simultaneous deep strikes. One here and one here. The AI can only reinforce one deep strike at a time. It can't do both. So if I get an unfortunate um, deep strike counter spawn on one of them, it's fine. Because I can just, you know, my other deep strike can work fine. But I got a good spawn on that uh, anti-deep strike force, so I'm fine. Um, what's happening here is they're totally annihilating everything immediately. I just lost that entire fleet in like two seconds. There's going to be attack on cursing, so I'm going to get over there. Get ready for another strike. Let's go. So we're going to try and not get them immediately destroyed by everything this time. Attack that. So what I did this time is I kept my fleets out of the range of these two clear for the guard posts and that Tesla Guardian. So works a little bit better when you do that. All right, just send them away. I mean, I'm probably going to lose a ton of ships while retreating. Probably going to lose all of them, honestly. But it's pretty relevant. Like, I've got tons of metal. It's not going to trigger a, a counterattack. I'm good. I'm going to unload here so my ships can get repaired if they need it. And, you know, this is just 
what the early game is like. You go out, you deep strike, you get the AI things, and then you capture some more planets. And you just rinse and repeat, you know, you keep going. So, th this should be a pretty good episode one introduction to how to play AI War on higher difficulties. You just... This gameplay loop that I just showed you, you just rinse and repeat until you've expanded enough to get to, like, four fleets with high mark units, and then you can start looking for the AI homeworld. It's gonna be around here somewhere, you know?